What is going on guys? It's Pikum Fun Fan97. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put a video in a video. Um now this can be different depending what style of uh what kind of style you're gonna be putting into your video. So if you want a video on top of a video, say uh if you want to this say this is the video and you want a video in top of it, then that's gonna be um a little tricky, but it is possible. And the second way of doing um that is you know, putting a video inside the actual video. So I'm let me show you what I mean. So you would get, um, you know, two video f footages or whatever you're going to be working with. In this case, I'm going to be working with the Audio React HD. Uh, this is one I've made for my YouTube channel. Uh, it was like a giveaway or something like that, and had to, I had to cancel it because not a, not a lot of you guys participated in it. So for my 2,000 subscribers, I'm gonna uh, do something special with that. I'm going to require at least 50 or 30 people, so, yeah, so I would share the video if you if you guys really want the thing, and I'm going to give you a hint, it does have, it is pretty pricey, so, yeah, anyway, so getting into the iMovie tutorial, you want to, you know, drag your footage, now, if you click and drag, it's going to, you know, do a, a range selection, which means it's just going to select what you uh, select, to actually select it, you're going to right click, and just drag it so just right click and then click select entire clip or you can just you know select or press X on the on the on your keyboard and that will select the whole entire footage you can see that this is the whole entire footage uh, so I mean it's just made it's just zoomed out so um, zoomed in sorry it's zoomed in so I'm um, gonna just go ahead and drag it into the timeline so it is playing right here I can go ahead and play it Uh, you guys can't hear the audio, unfortunately, so, um, yeah, anyway, so you're going to have two video files, and this is how many working with my intro right here, so, um, yeah, to do this, you basically drag whatever you're going to be working with, and you drag it on top, you know, you can always select your footage, you can uh, do, let's see, you can do a... Um, a range selection and then drag it or you can just select the whole entire footage just by pressing X and once you've done that you will you can zoom into the timeline which is very handy right here this is to zoom into the timeline you can also uh, change the clip size uh, if you want to make it bigger you know looking at the waveforms would be a great deal for you uh, but in this case I'm gonna zoom out so we can fit this into the timeline so I'm gonna zoom out um, so I think this is good enough. You can also disable the waveforms. I wouldn't do that because you know it's quite important. So anyway, you've done this. Now, if you play it, uh, it's going to play both audio right here. So to do this, to cancel one audio source, in this case, it's going to be my bottom layer because I'm going to be putting this footage into this uh, video right here. So to do that, you click right in the beginning, and then you can right click, and then you click split clip do this same on the other side click split clip so I just right click and then I click split clip or you can just go with the command B shortcut then you wanna um, either click uh, you know click anywhere in your footage and drag it into here uh, and that will replace it or you can just turn down the audio and that will do as well so now you won't be able to listen to the audio because if you were to do it when it was full then you're just gonna take down the whole entire footage, the whole video's audio, which you don't want to do. So once you've done that, um, you want to go ahead and drag it in. As you can see, it replaces it. So do that, and then it's and then once it's in there, you delete the one right here. Press delete, and now your footage is inside the other video. As you can see right there. Now, if you want to fade the audio, um, you guys can't hear the audio. Sorry for that. But to fade it, I'm going to zoom in. And you see this little uh, circle right here at the very end of the video where the wa waveform is. So if you don't see the waveform, you just click this and click show waveforms. And you want to go ahead and drag this to the left. You will see that when I drag it to the left, it gives me how many seconds I'm taking off. So like negative three seconds or the delay. So that's really nice to have. Um, you can't change the style of the fade like in Final Cut Pro where you can change the styles of it but this is just they try to make it as simple for easy users uh, so you do that if you can you can also do it into the beginning 
you know, just click and drag it to the right and it will say plus one. That's because you're dragging it to the right and if you go back, dragging it to the left will of course go in the negative. So that's how it works uh, to uh, lower the volume or fade the volume. Now if you wanted to lower the volume, just click um, in the line right here, it will highlight, highlight it. You will see two arrows, just click and drag it down to drag it to your taste, <laughs> I suppose. And that will, you know, decrease the volume. Um, you know, that's all you gotta. That's all you can do. Um, you can also speed up the video. Show speed editor. Um, let's see where is it? Oh, there it is, right here. You will see a new uh, window sh or a new button shows up. So if I do right click and hide speed editor, you will see that it's gone. So just press Command R for the shortcut or click uh, show, show speed editor. Now, if you drag it down, this will speed up the video, which is kind of funny. Now, if you drag it to the right, you just you just left click, you know, normal click, and drag it to the right. It will slow down the footage. So that's cool if you're trying to do a slow motion video. Now, this turtle means that if you click on it, normal click, it'll give you a custom and a preset. A preset will tell you, uh, telling like the speed if you want to increase the speed like speed it up two times or speed it up 20 times or speed it up eight times or slow it down to 10 percent now you can do it you know of course custom you can if you don't like any of these presets or they're not on there you can do 20 percent and that will slow the footage down to 20 percent so if i to play it it's very very slow so you can do reverse you can reverse the footage so that will be nice you can also preserve pitch so um, this basically, it kind of changes the pitch of the sound when you click reverse. So if I were to reverse it, now this me, this resets the whole thing if you were to click on it. So I'm not going to do that. Well, I already did. So I'm going to reverse. And if I were to play the footage, the audio is reversed. Sorry, you can't hear it, but it is reversed. So, and preserve pitch, you know how I never clicked that but it just came in default if you uncheck it it basically doesn't really do anything uh, i don't really notice difference but that's how you basically do it so that's how to speed up a video in imovie the new imovie so if you guys enjoy any of this and if you want to share the love you know spread the word then i will i will love you guys <laughs> um comment in the description if you want any uh if you want to tell me any ideas for my next uh, video or imovie tutorial and i'll see you guys in my next video peace